This is Twit. So I often preach that if you want to have a serious discussion about various distros, you have to have at least tried them out. So that's exactly what I've done. Now, I haven't gone all in uh, and installed this as my daily driver, but I have tested it and played around with it on a virtual machine. So this distro I am going to talk about that, probably that, that looks like Windows. It it, it that, does, doesn't that it? That looks a lot like Windows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm talking about Windows 11 here. But <laughs> so what I am talking about here, I I it's probably not the kind of distro I would run as my my daily driver, but since I know some of the other co-hosts on this panel really like the look of Windows desktop. <laughs> so I've Sorry, decided to give <laughs> so I've decided to give Wubuntu a try just for them. Uh, also known as Windows Ubuntu 11.4.4. Now, I have no idea how this distro doesn't get sued out of existence by Microsoft. Um, you know, Microsoft sued Lindos way back in the day. I, they did lose and all, but Lindos had nothing on Wubuntu. You know, for those watching, the display behind me here, uh, that's Wubuntu, and it looks, you know, like Jonathan said, almost exactly like Windows 7. It's ridiculous, and and many aspects of it match as well. You know, if I just click a couple things here, they got their store there. I, obviously, that doesn't match Windows 11, I don't think. I guess I haven't used that. But uh, many aspects of it look a lot like Windows uh, Windows 11. So the description on their website is, Ubuntu is an operating system based on Ubuntu LTS that has a similar appearance to Windows using the open source themes. Ubuntu also comes with a set of advanced tools called Power Tools that allows you to use features such as control panel and Windows style network and general settings, Android emulation interface with video acceleration, synchronization with OneDrive, improved Wine capability for applications .exe and .msi, and is fully compatible with uh, any hardware, they say. Uh, that sounds like a stretch to say any hardware, but they go on to say it does not require TPM, secure boot, uh, pop CNT or any other absurd absurd requirements. Ubuntu is already shipped with uh, Copilot, Edge, Teams, PowerShell, Skype, and so much more. I added the so in there. That's they just say and much more. So Ubuntu it, it comes in two flavors. You can choose from. They have the plasma version that I think you guys would really like, Jonathan and uh, and Jeff. But it also has the cinnamon version, and really, they look, they look very, very similar. Slightly different tones of their colors. So, they they have their free edition, which is the one that I tried out. But they also have a a, a thirty five dollar, thirty five U S dollars uh, edition uh, that will get you the professional version with the following key features. Windows style control panel settings, Active Directory support made easy, access OneDrive directly through your file manager, support for Android subsystem with 3D acceleration and Play Store. That's something you don't even get in Windows 11. You don't get the Play Store. And that's another thing I don't know how they're not going to get sued with. Um, but in a year, you're not going to have any uh, Windows subsystem for Android on Windows. So <laughs> this might be the place to be. Uh, also, continuing on, improve support for MS Windows applications through Wine, update and improvement of MS Windows themes, direct support with the developers, uh, and access to new professional versions of Ubuntu. And so in conclusion, I'm not recommending Ubuntu. Something about it just feels a little sketchy. Maybe it's just <laughs> because it looks like Windows. But if you have a need for your Windows desktop to look almost exactly like Windows 11, maybe for maybe for spousal approval factor, I don't know. <laughs> Take a look at Wubitu. Or they also say that you will soon be able to use power tools on your favorite KDE or Cinnamon desktop. So Jonathan will be able to install this 
pretty soon on his fedora, his uh, KDE plasma fedora desktop. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. No, <laughs> I'm okay without doing that. Uh, so it's, it's something it's not for me, but it's something it's out there. I, I, I just thought, I mean, you're a big KDE fan. So you really like that windows look. My, my KDE desktops don't act or look a whole lot like windows. <laughs> you can make them look however you want to. And they really don't. That's the best thing about KD is just the configurability, though. Yeah, yeah, it really is. You can um, make it look like Windows or something else. So I, <laughs> it's it's funny. Uh, you know, Microsoft <laughs> has their own Linux version now, and they just renamed it. It used to be CBO Mariner. Mariner. Now it's Azure Linux. And that uh, that actually happened about a week and a half ago, to ten or twelve days ago. Um, and this. This is trying so much harder to be went to be Microsoft than the actual Microsoft Linux is. It's it's hilarious. <sighs> yeah, maybe I, they I, don't think they're even going to go after uh, these guys because with Ubuntu, I, I don't think Windows really cares anymore. I mean, you can still install Windows yeah. for free now. They they've kind of just the desktop is more. We got to keep the momentum going and mm -hmm. than anything else. But yeah. maybe they should hire these guys for their Azure Linux. <laughs> 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 no, probably not. I don't think we want Azure Linux to be that. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>